and see if I can get that. All right, the class is called Creative Music 101. Um, the objective of the class is to create 12 songs that make up an album, or one 12 song album, um, and create two pieces of album artwork. It could be anything to be awesome. And uh, tools we will use uh, is GarageBand to record, which comes standard on all Mac computers. And so the innovation lab is, okay, let's do that. Let's find out what you want to be when you grow up. And let's, let's facilitate that. Um, but let's facilitate it in a way that we're doing the notice, dream, connect, do, so that if, you, if for some reason you change your passion or you change your career path, you've got this process just built in so that, that, so that you can change it. So yeah, the innovation lab is um, getting, it, it's just a, it's a safe place for us to perfect this natural learning process. I'm I noticed from my life that um, my son has grown in the in the wrong direction. Um, that people are stressed. Everybody is stressed. Um, they're people are doing so much. Um, people are doing what other people think they should. When I noticed doing. that he was moving from this, you know, being very creative and and exploring when he was young, to be being very closed and being very concerned about uh, memorizing things and, and what I consider to be, it, it just seems to be the opposite direction of where he needed to go. I imagine teachers and students and um, career people can't wait to get up and go. So then I, I started to dream and I started to think, well, there's got to be a different way. We've got to find other spaces for a kid. I kids. connected to people that I would have never connected to before, and I learned a, a ton of things about how to make this happen, how to, how to make some change happen to where people are doing what they're passionate they just about. They keep me going. They make me realize that other people uh, are thinking the same things and realizing the same things, and that's important to me, so the connections have been great. And the do is we're, we're doing the lab. I first noticed permaculture um, on a camping trip with my mentor Patrick and we were observing patterns in nature and trying to connect them to things that we could build in our permaculture area to make it more efficient. I noticed that I really liked the game of soccer and I started noticing I wanted to play, I needed to play. I just noticed that um, a lot of people don't realize that slavery still exists. Like I was talking to a kid in my math class a couple years ago and he didn't realize that um, slavery didn't stop with the Civil War way back in the day. So I thought that was a not good thing that people don't realize that Rocky Mountain is. National Park, the, um, a lot of trees are being killed off by bark beetles. Uh, two, we've actually got two varieties up there. In 2007, I went to Jamaica for a mission trip, Montego Bay, and I noticed that there's a lot of people all around the world, not just in Jamaica and not just in the U.S., that need help in general. Like, there's enough food that's wasted in the U.S., no one should be going hungry. What I noticed is that the way the school system works doesn't really work for me personally. A lot of times in my classes, like, the teachers get to the point of the class in the first 20 or 30 minutes and spend an hour just going in depth of it when I understand it right away. And I feel like I waste that hour just listening and going through the motions of the class and just doing busy So work. I noticed that I don't have a passion and everyone around me does. Well, I noticed that I was very into photography and I really loved how um, you could take photos that had emotion and different meanings to them and you can make I it. I how I used to be afraid of tornadoes mm -hmm. and uh, my cat and like I wanted to learn more about them. And after that camping trip I just started dreaming of 
these patterns that I could implement all over the place and go to different parts of the world where the patterns are crazier and more efficient. And um, I just started thinking in a permaculture sense about everything that I did. I needed life. to play, and that that passion of wanting to play just I started to dream about going and becoming a great. So star. I just kind of thought, like at the very least, we could educate people about it, and if we can at least raise raise awareness about it, then um, it might help to kind of combat the. Chapter. We're all thinking about how we could. Um, how we could maybe distribute um, the bark beetles predators. Just started dreaming of smarter ways to use what we have. So my dream is that there will be a system like basically the innovation lab where there will be no boundaries. I can like learn what I want to learn and my call and like my dream colleges will still accept me and like want me because of it and I can like specialize what I it's want. Just something that I really think I need. I'm just going on the path that everyone else is, taking the same math classes, going through English, just all the same things. And I feel that if I had that one thing that like is my drive and what I want to do for the future, then I can make a difference in something that I do. I just need to go for what I want rather than what everyone else wants me to do. And like, my dream would just be to figure Maybe that out. Become a photojournalist or just do photo for a living or art, for example. So I dreamed myself of a storm chaser, like setting up probes and all that. And then I started really connecting to permaculture when um, me and Patrick started to sit down and really set some guidelines for. Um, my course and what I wanted to do. Yeah, I have a blog that I kind of put some of my ideas down onto and um, yeah, I also have like some writings that I've done for um, my mentor Patrick and stuff like that. So in Africa they have um, permaculture convergences from people all over the world and uh, my mentor Patrick, he went to one two years ago and came back and, and, and really had a great time and Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to go to the one in this year in Jordan, so um, we've had some thoughts about trying to get me there, and um, I think that would really be cool, so we're just trying to figure out some of the logistics for, for that. For the last about year and a half, I've been working with a teacher outside of school on working on my composition. I started connecting to videos I've seen. I started watching videos and looking at other players play. I've been play. talking to Cam Carmen Camreth and um, Chris Alsom about how to um, educate people in the community about that. When we connected with um, Ryan Bray, who's actually uh, my cousin and part of the Canadian Forest Service. Um, yeah, he lives in Canada. Last year I got connected with Miss Hardy and was inspired to make a class called Global Connections. I got to talk to some people from Cape Town, Uganda a lot of people from my church and such have inspired me I'm to... I'm really excited. I'm going to try to get connected with students that go to these colleges and like are s majoring in what I want to major in, which is like pre-med, physical therapy, um, and talking to them, like saying, hey, I'm doing this in the innovation lab. Is this okay? Is like what I'm doing now going to get me... I have a friend that lives in Loveland right now. He's actually a photographer. He does. He photographs his wife's uh, artwork and stuff for the city. I connected uh, Reed Timmer and Josh Warman. I started doing. I started working and putting out the physical labor to make something that I that I'm proud of and uh, that I think is permaculture. Over this span of time, I have written three songs, two for string orchestra and one for concert band. started, you know, using some of their moves and then I started, I joined club and the high school soccer teams here. I started playing with them. We're going to try to start some sort of awareness. Can we find a, actually a model rocket 
that could um, be shot up, and it would, um, and it had a special tube in it that would distribute. Um, you know, uh, seeds. We tried it on seeds because we couldn't get our hands on any of this. Class, I've helped other people find their specific field of help or missions that they want to focus on. Some people are doing projects on human trafficking. Some are doing projects on homelessness. Um, I started a blog. And I've written about global um, global connections and cultural collaborations. Um, how we can find a way to combine our knowledge instead of having it clash one society overrunning the other. To Lucas, talking to Peter, all the kids in the lab with their passions, it really has like wanted me to have that so much more. And I think if I create a blog or read more books about it, maybe I can figure out what that really is for me. And I am actually taking a photo two class right now and to uh, go on with that, I'm going to be taking AP Photo and the AP Studio Art so I can get into that when I... I started watching Discovery Channel like when I was sick and lying in bed. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my drum track. Yeah, I didn't know you were talking about anything.